for, I think, $15 for a pack of six. Let me double check. $15 for a pack of six and $29 for a pack of 12. And then on top of that, yeah, they have the two X stands for twice the caffeine. And they, on top of that, if you use my code, DAN, at checkout on the new flavors, you'll save 50% off of the uh, purchase price. Oh yeah, so it's, and I believe it stacks with that deal. I'm pretty sure. So you can, um, if you buy, decide to try out the new flavor, use my code DAN. Otherwise, DAN does save you 40% off all other flavors. But if you buy the new flavor, it's 50% off. Uh, almost half, I know. And before you say anything, yes, shipping is expensive because cans of coffee are liquid and liquid is always expensive to ship because it's heavy and it's fragile so the price even will be a little high but they're always trying to bring the price down in, in ways any way they can but coffee liquid coffee is heavy so it's going to be a bit pricey when you're shipping especially internationally if you're shipping locally it's not too bad but international shipping is a bit pricey burp, burp, burp. Uh, heavy and fragile. Well, they are kids. They're not super fragile. I was worried they wouldn't taste good, but they tasted really good when I got them. That's awesome. You're worried that it was canned, but I was surprised. Yeah, Hammer Time, the coffee is actually really good. Uh, the amount of sugar depends on which one you buy. Some of them have almost no sugar. And other ones have a lot of sugar, depending on if you like really sweet or not very sweet at all. Like anything that sounds sweet, like vanilla or mocha, has a lot of sugar in it, but the black coffee has almost none. Two times sugar. And, it's all, and on top of Madrinus Monday, it is Punday Monday. Punday Monday, so every sub today, I will have to. Punish chat with a terrible, horrible pun. And also, uh, sometime today, someone from Madrinas should be in chat to answer your questions about it. Let me see. Yeah, dude, it should be here later. Thank you for the bits. Thanks for reminding me. Also, I need to lower the sound on those things. It's nine dollars for a six pack with the code. It's awesome. All right, let's see. Uh, Streamlabs. I need to lower the sound volume on the bits notification. It's loud. That means the ten thousand dollar bit one is going to blow my ears off. Sound volume, let's go about 40% quieter. Nom 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 pitch. Okay, lower that one a bit too. Five thousand bits! Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'll leave the other ones sort of loud since they're a lot of money. Alright. Now I'll Refresh. I believe the 5,000 bits is a derpy Dan. Going boom. All right. Oh, I gotta get my pun list going too.
800 bad puns. There we go. Another sub, another pun. Ah. <laughs> Paul, thanks for subbing on Pun Day Monday. <laughs> Two fish were in a tank. One turned the other and said, how do you drive this thing? Uh, the shipping's already folded into the price, uh, Mario Savage, including the 50% off. <laughs> so if you were to buy the 25 pack, all right, the 12 pack, which is $29, but 50% off, so it's $14.50. Then you add the shipping price, and it becomes the same as on Amazon. Get wrecked by logic. Remember, everything on Amazon isn't free shipping. The shipping is included in the price. That's why they're more expensive than usually everywhere else. Because the prime shipping is already in the price. They just hide it in there with magic. So it doesn't seem like you're paying extra. Am I serious? I don't know. What's another after Red Dead? Not sure yet. Shandabar, thanks for subbing. And Dr. Dick Handler, thank you for subbing. What did one needle say to the other? You're looking sharp. Where did Noah keep his bees? In the archive. Pointy though. Needles are sharp. They're damn sharp. Now, one thing I want to do today is we discovered something awesome yesterday. <laughs> All of Red Dead 1 is inside of Red Dead 2. I want to go look at it. The only place that you can't get to is Mexico, but it is there. It's rendered. You just can't walk over there. But you can see it all. It's there. Yes, it is in the game. You just can't go there. You can look across the river and see all of Mexico. Which means they're probably either going to use that as DLC or the online portion of the game will use a lot of the old game's areas. Or they've already done most of the work for recreating Red Dead 1 and Red Dead 2's engine and they'll finally release it on PC. Because if the whole landscape is already rendered out, all you gotta do is plop in all the people and make the rehook all the quests up and stuff. 
All right. We're gonna go. I want to look at other areas from Red Dead One. We're gonna go head over to to Thieves Landing. Remember Thieves Landing? You're okay, girl. We'll see if it's all here. Oh my god. Here's Thieves Landing. Oh, it's all here. There's a bunch of hostiles here, though. All these dudes only the right gun. I love my bolt action. Oh, uh, they're all labeled as red, meaning that I have to kill them. Am I? Guys behind that wall, I can't see. Music is amazing right now. John Marston gets his own music and his own special uh, dead eye effect from the first game. If you haven't been noticing, our dead eye sound is the same as the first game now. Ah, there we go. them decide to put the whole first game inside of this game. Yeah, even some of the original music from Red Dead 1 is in this game now. Once you start, once you switch to John. Mm -hmm. 
It actually is. The first game is smaller than you remember it being. It's actually a nearly one-to-one -one recreation. Are pistols way cooler than rifles plus that eye? Uh, pistols are not good at long distance, unfortunately. Rifles are. They take a w pistols take longer to like zoom in on a target at a distance than rifles do. Unlike the first game where everything it is is was all the same. But in this one, rifles are good for distance. Pistols good for up close. And you can unload on someone quicker up close with a pistol. Which makes sense because handguns aren't very accurate at long distance. Especially hip firing. <laughs> you can also carry every weapon with you at all times in the first game. So there was like no reason to like make the weapons different since you had access to all the weapons at all the at all times. But this one they definitely made weapons work differently in different situations. To encourage you to have different kinds of weapons with you at all times. You can hit a target far away with a revolver in this game. It's just that it takes longer for it to zoom in to do that each time you fire. It takes like a good three seconds for it to like zoom in close enough to be sure to hit the target. I can't believe we're in Thieves Landing. Let's go check out the boat. I want to go see McFarland Ranch too. I wonder if we can see Bonnie. Del Lobo. Yeah, whatever hat you pick up, you pick up becomes your new main hat. Get saved to your horse. If you're a hat collector. A hey, good girl now. All right, let's go to McFarland Ranch and see if uh, we can see Bonnie or her father or anything like that. Oh my god. It auto travel. I don't have to hold the control at all. I thought I had to keep the button down. The whole time it auto does it? I thought I had to hold it down while for, for, like, for like 100 hours. It looked like it was just cinematic, but you like had to hold the button down to keep going. Wow. I I did like a hundred hours and didn't know that.
Wait, are we back? Are we skinny again? We fixed the glitch last time by reloading. Uh-oh. Oh my god, it's McFarlane Ranch. Holy shit! Easy now. Bonnie? Bonnie? Oh. There's no there's no one here. That's cool that McFarlane Ranch is here. Enough tears on your account. Yeah, I do. Evening. Yeah, for sure. Hi. Hey, mister. Evening, partner. Why is my honor so low? Oh, wait. Anyway, it resets because we're John now. Wrong idea about me. No way. Hey. Evening. Hello. Looks like the big ass barn isn't built yet. This is before they built the barn. They got the big corral. The train station's here. Doggy! Armadillo, oh my god, it's all here. This is so awesome to see Red Dead 1 inside the engine. Start cooking. Oh, we were just at Thieves Landing. Killed a bunch of people there. Seriously, only one? I guess because it was poor. Wait a minute, am I suffering from the glitch again? Am I super skinny? I can't tell. Sometimes it happens. I look thin. I may have the skinny uh, John bug again. Yeah, all of Mexico is there. It's just that you can't get to it. All of the first game is in this game. It's awesome. I can't tell if we have the skinny John glitch. I do look a little thin. Well, let's, uh... We can fix it just by doing a little of this. When we reload in, we'll be back to normal. If it's the glitch version. Sometimes he glitches to a skinny John because of how Arthur was at the end. 
this will this will tell me for sure if I'm just thin or if it's a, the glitch version of thin. If it's if it's not glitch, I'll just eat all the food. It's like. Yeah, by it makes me strongly suspect they're gonna do a remaster of the first game uh, on PC and all in consoles as well. It just makes so much sense because the entire landscape is already in the game, which is a huge chunk of the work. And all the quests and stuff are just are in the previous game. Just gotta port them over. And since this game is a prequel, it goes right into that game. Which would be perfect. It could, they could make it DLC for this one, or a separate like expansion or something, or they could make it a seamless experience where you go. The epilogue turns into the first game. Or they could just make a mobile version of this game and think we'd all be happy. Let's go, girl. I'm gonna go check out Armadilla. What? You all have phones, right? Don't you? Beautiful landscape. I know that. I know holding down the start button opens the map, but I just do the other way all the time anyways. Beautiful. Not the carcass, but the river and the water and the landscape. They even put all the... Tr you know how long it would take to put all the individual plants and stuff? I wonder this game took so long to put the whole first game inside of it. It's crazy. Well, of course there's some automation but then you have to go through and hand touch everything because automation will never look good as good as hand touched hand uh, tweaked I mean Armadillo's there. Man, 
look at it. We're in the first kit? This is crazy. God damn it. How the hell was that an assault? the new crime system. It's quite annoying. Here's the church. Hey, mister. Morning, sir. If you lost your mind, this is where our are friend, you sick? This is where our friend Seth was in the first game. What the hell? Whoa, easy. What the hell is going on? Is that a reference to Undead Nightmare? Maybe. Let's go check out Armadillo. Smoke us some cigs on the way. Still on fire? Uh-oh. Another sub, another pun! <laughs> Thanks for subbing, Lemel. Damn sons of bitches. You're not getting away, oh buddy. Oh my. If it wasn't for you, sir. If it wasn't for you, how lucky we are. The hero we so required. Armadillo is indebted to you. Though I fear 
maybe beyond saving. Sir, I don't know what you made of that, but it was a close thing. And in light of that, and the sad demise of this settlement, I am resigning my post. Now you will see that I packed my valise, but the accoutrements of my profession remain in my desk. Does that mean I can be the sheriff? Pocket watch. So that's why there's a new sheriff when we go in the next time. The, the much cooler sheriff, I might add. This guy's a badass. All it is is cigarettes. an armadillo there's just like no one here what a thing city's in because of tuberculosis outbreak heard in a nearby town ran NPC yesterday oh so they all got TB Another day. Plague. We got plague in town. Plague back in town. Mister? Hey, friend. Place is full of cholera. Head in there, Churn Piero. Well, half the town has died, and most of the rest have fled. Still? Sure. A few years ago, it was the Scarlet Fever. Then it was the Desert Plague. Then typhus, now the cholera. Bad business. Some folks say the whole town is cursed. All town's got cholera! Here, you can read for yourself. I, I can't read none. Thank you. Uh, for instance, do not drink any water which has not been boiled. Look, yeah, some I wouldn't stand too close. I probably infected myself. Move socks and boots while sleeping. Pray for sharing bath water with others. Attend immediately to disorders of the bowel. Defecate neatly and away from the common living areas. Plague! Oh, we got God. plague in town. Hey there. Plague back in town. You okay, lady? You guys all right? Come on, move. This your first time here? Oh my god, it's the place! The Anything I can do for you? Stay away. Beer, please. Stay away. Cheers to you. Thank you, sir. It's a creepy looking man looking at me. Beer and whiskey's about the only thing left that's safe to drink in this town. I should warn you, I'm sick, but so is pretty much everyone else around here. Apart from that son of a bitch who runs the general store. That might be the cruelest irony of them all. Wait. Cholera's a horrible business, mister. I wouldn't stay around here any longer than you need Stranger? Is it Especially that one guy? If you got loved ones expecting you home. Anyway... Herbert Moon. Place is sick. Is it Herbert Moon? Let's see. Town is sick. Place is contagious, and we can hardly bury. If it's Herbert Moon, I'm gonna freak out. Even the grave diggers has died. Well, now I don't recall. Oh my God! It is. You might as well grab some crackers and biscuits while you're here. The sick people out there haven't been eating, it's so uh, I have plenty. 
You sure this is American made? Get the hell out of here! Oh my god, it's Herbert Moon. Pleasure. Who's that? Uh, I don't know. It's just a little portrait somebody gave me once. I always quite liked it. Why? No reason. Just seemed familiar. Anyway. Much appreciated. Wait, Should what? Lighten my load. What? This is a no admittance area. You have to go Wait a back. minute. Oh, I'm sorry, partner. Wait, on the back wall. It's the stranger, Just isn't it? Watch it, okay? It's the stranger in the second game. I mean, in, in the first game, I keep saying second, but it's the first. Thank you. Yeah, it's him. Get out of here. Hello, John. Remember that guy from the first game? It's the, it's that dude. You know me, John. Death. Man, I, I can't believe they put Herbert Moon in the game. I love that. Tumbleweed's somewhere over here. So, Amardillo keeps getting, like, wiped out every so often. So, the ne next time we come in the first game, then, um, everything's fine again. Thought I completed the game. We completed the story, uh, the first part of the story, but then now we're on the second part, the epilogue, which starts, which you play as John Marston. We're in the first game right now and it has this it's playing the first game's fucking music do you hear that background music that's the first game's music Stones. Wait, it's an iguana. And leave your boots on your sticky feet. Environment rifle for a clean kill. Horsey! Horsey! No! You killed my horse! I didn't really care too much for that horse. It's not a big deal. I didn't name her or anything. No horse survivor? No 
Someone's got horse survivor. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to go back and buy some from Herbert Moon. Ugh. Be strong, Rachel. Be strong, girl. I'm coming back. Don't you worry now. <laughs> Sir. Hey, have a word. What is it you want? Just get down from there, please. Paid good money for this horse. I'm sorry, sir. I need your horse. Settle down, okay? Come on, girl. Just need you to ride. Just need to ride you. Whoa, none of that. Come on, girl. Sure as hell ain't looking for friends out on the hey, road. Hey, now. We're fine. Relax. <laughs> Relax, boy. I see you're a boy now. Easy now. Come on. Come on. <sighs> All right. All right, let's go, boy. We got to buy a horse survivor to save Rachel. Yes, horses can kick you and damage you, but it's only going to kill you if you're low health. It's a beautiful looking horse. I like the coat on it. I gotta give Herbert Moon money. He's gonna gamble with me later. Sonorian Poghorn Buck. Need some all right, all right. backup. Obliged. Nine dollars, Herbert. Are you kidding me right now? You goddamn thief. It's all yours. God, Herbert's such a goddamn like thief. Another sub, another pun. <laughs> Thank you for subbing, sir. Noseworthy. Done. Another sub, another pun. <laughs> You're dead beat, Dad. Thank you for subbing as well. And Lemley. On Madrina's Pun Day Monday. Look around some more. All right. Why is Peter Pan always flying? Because he never lands. Oh crap.
What do you call a patronizing criminal walking down the stairs? A condescending, condescending. I hate stairs. They're always up to something. Give me your horse, buddy. What the hell? <laughs> trying to eat my horse. Rachel, I got you, girl. Don't worry. Here you go, honey. We got you. Come on. Get up, girl. You're fine. You are just fine. These guys tried to kill you. I gotta skin them. Even if I don't take their pelts. Cause that's just rude. Oh, you celebrate living with the poo. Good job. There's horse poop in this game? There's lots of horse poop. That's all they do is they poo all the time, it seems like. Alright, we we're, we're heading out to Tumbleweed before we got distracted. And dead. Wait, Mercer Station? Isn't that Fort Mercer where... Bill! Bill, I've come for you. It's amazing just how much more dramatically Western a little bit West looks. So much more deserty. Must have been a giant shootout here or something. You okay, buddy? Sir? You okay? Still got your wits? <laughs> Mister, I, I can't even. You have saved my life. I can't thank you enough. Another Whatever is in that box fun. is yours. <laughs> I, I'll explain the loss. Far as I'm concerned, you earned it. Well, thank you, sir. Floki, thank you for subbing. Wait for you to say that. Uh, what box? That box. 
All right, we got here. We have canned vegetables. Some ammo. Just some ammo and some vegetables in a can. Come on, lady. Is this the second one? I thought I finished it yesterday. Jerry Van Horn, are you not paying attention? Something is drastically different that you couldn't possibly miss. Oh, you, you can't be serious right there, right? Are you paying attention? What's different, Daryl? What's dramatically different and not the same as the past few days? There's two things, actually. Oh my god, these guys hit hard. Going for it! <laughs> 